everybody welcome back to my channel and to another video in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to update your Cricut Design Space software so if you are new to Cricut Design Space and you haven't already downloaded the software to start with check out the video above here now and in the description down below it's a really short but still quite comprehensive guide on how to download Cricut Design Space onto your computer the example used in that video is onto a MacBook Pro however if you do need a Windows video please let me know in the comments down below and I would be happy to film one of those for you in the future in this video though I'm going to be showing you how we update Cricut Design Space once we've got it downloaded so let's jump into Design Space and get started so here we are then in Cricut Design Space and what will happen once you've got your design space downloaded periodically you will get notifications to tell you that you have got an update pending and the updates are generally bug fixes and such like they can also be new features if Cricut's rolling out something new to use in design space this will also come through an update so first of all we need to find where the update is so if we come up to our notification bell which is at the top in the right hand corner here you can see there's a number one on it so if we click on it this is where all your notifications are going to be stored for different things in Cricut Design Space so if somebody has liked one of your projects that you may have shared on Cricut Community that will show up here it will also show you if you like different designers and you have liked their page on design space it will show you if they have new designs available for you to see so you can see on here let's ignore the design space update one at the top to start with but i have got um, a couple of projects that i have shared and these are all the different people who have liked that project and have saved it to maybe make for themselves then at the very very top here we have got new design space update is ready to be installed and this came up four days ago but i just haven't had a chance really to update my design space so if we click on that there it's going to come up with this dialog box and it says update available a new version of design space is ready to be installed any unsaved changes will be restored after the installation now even though it says that unsaved changes will be restored I would not trust it because I've had it before when I have updated my design space and I've had a project on the screen and I've saved it thankfully but when the actual software has finished its update it's come back up with a completely different project on screen so sometimes I think it gets a little bit discombobulated and forgets which project you had on the screen so I would 100% recommend that you save your project before going to do your update so there's two options now that we have we can either install it on the next launch so this will mean tomorrow when I come into the craft room to work I will click on my Cricut Design Space and it will begin to do the update automatically or we can install now so I'm going to choose install now so let's click on the green box it will cut off your Cricut Design Space and it will go to this white screen and it will just disappear after a few seconds you will get this installing update screen come up now we should be able to double click on design space and it's going to come up on the screen with the new version of design space now i can see one thing that's new straight away at the top of the screen let's see if it's still there i am using the beta version which means i'm using one that isn't completely tested so there you go this is a project that i used maybe two days ago and that's what it's brought up as my last project now you saw before I was using a blank screen so that project was not on my screen and that's the one it has remembered to bring up and I have definitely made other things since then so definitely definitely save your project before you update so the first thing I noticed that is different here is this new little beta button here if I click on it does it do anything it does it takes me to the settings that's interesting so I'm using the beta version as I said which means it's kind of untested we are guinea pigs testing this version of design space this is not the live version of design space if I wanted to change to live now I can click on this blue button here and I can come over to application experience and I can change it from beta to live but I'm not going to because generally you get things a little bit earlier if you're using beta 
The other way to see if there's anything else new is to just click on your name, come down to settings and then it brings up the same screen actually but that's just the way that I'm used to doing it and then you can see that we have updated to version 8.31.61 then we can click on this what's new here and it'll just tell us so for this one it was just app improvements bug fixes and performance enhancements if I scroll down a little bit you can see the last one where we had anything big was 8.25 and that was the convert to layers. If you don't know how to use that, I'll pop a video up above and down below for you now on how to use the convert to layers. And that basically helps you to make your own SVGs within Cricut Design Space from images that you have uploaded. But as you can see, there's been a heck of a lot of app improvements and updates. And it goes all the way back to 8.15 when we got the create sticker. So that is it. That's how you update your Cricut Design Space. And I hope that that has been useful to you. If it has, don't forget to subscribe. Drop me any questions or comments you have down below. And I look forward to seeing you again for another video. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.